Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect SharePoint to Tableau in 2024. So we're elevating your data analysis game by connecting SharePoint to Tableau. This integration allows you to harness the power of Tableau for visualizing and analyzing your SharePoint data. Stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step tutorial to connect SharePoint to Tableau. So let's dive into the world of insightful data visualization and let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll have to go and open your of course tableau desktop so to begin open up tableau desktop on your computer and ensure that you have the latest version installed uh, to access the most up-to-date feature and integration if you don't have it go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow the tutorial steps with here I'm using Brave, of course, for you. You can use whatever you want and make sure to go and download it. So simply go to this URL section right here and type Tableau, Tableau, download, and hit the enter button. Then you will find yourself here. Make sure to go and click on download Tableau desktop. And as you can see, it only takes 15 seconds to fill out. If you're already, if you're already registered, you can simply sign in because you will get just a 14 day free trial. After that, you will have to go and buy it to download this, as you can see. So you will have to download free trial after you fill out all those informations and you will get just 14 days free trial. After that, of course, you'll have to go also and do the same with SharePoint. So go to SharePoint.com. Of course, it's not the right URL, but if you type SharePoint.com, you'll be taken here. If you have a problem language like me, you can simply scroll down to the bottom. You'll find here French or Francais. Just go and choose English International or choose English in your country for uh, paying, of course, the plan because you will need to go and get a plan because this does not have a free trial. So if you want to have access to SharePoint, you'll have to go and get one of their plans. And of course, if you have an account logging into it, that's, that's already has a plan. For me, I don't have a plan. My plan has ended two months ago. So I will not be able to show you exactly from me, but I will follow an article with you. So you will have access or you'll be able to use it. So for you, once you have Tableau and SharePoint already like downloaded, you can use it even in the web browser for both. So just open those both and in Tableau, of course, you will have to go and select the SharePoint list as data source. Then enter the SharePoint site's URL if you have a site, but if you don't, you'll have to go and create a site first of all. And if you don't know how, I've already made a video on how to do it. So make sure to go and check it out. And then once you enter the SharePoint site URL, you'll have to choose a specific list of or library, then configure the data connection settings, import the data into the Tableau and create visualization. And finally, save and share your work with your team if you want to. This is just as a summary for what we're going to do in this video. As I said, I cannot provide you with real-time options, but I will follow an article. I'll just go here and type like, connect share uh, points so share points with tableau as simple as that as you can see they were giving you here how to do it all the article on how to do it exactly as you can see sharepoint lists if you want to connect it so before you connect as you can see before you begin gather this connection informations first the url to the SharePoint sites that contains the list you want to connect to. As I said before, if you don't have a site yet, a SharePoint site yet, you will have to go and create one. It's very easy to do. You can, after that, add pages and a lot of other stuff. And I've made a video on how to do it. You can go and check it out. The addition to your SharePoint server on premises or SharePoint online, the method of authentic authentication, third party SSO, or integrated authentication, the username or email address and password and optionally SSO domain if needed. Driver required. This connection requires a driver to talk to the database. You might already have the required driver installed on your computer. If the driver is not installed on your computer, Tableau display a message in the connection dialog box with a link to the driver download. Page where you can find driver links and installation structures. Sorry, instructions. Then, as you can see, you will have to make the connection and set up the data source. 
So first, once you open Tableau and there connects, you will be able to select share points lists. As an example, I'll just go and open a new tab and type Tableau dashboard. Try to get like the image of it and see if I'll be able to show you exactly. So it does not seem there's a dashboard here. Let me just go back and click in here. So the tableau will be something like that. So I don't know if you can see it, but basically you'll have to go and there connects, you will be able to find SharePoint lists. For complete list of data connections, select more and there to a server, then do the following. A, in the SharePoint site, text box, enter the SharePoint URL that you have from your SharePoint site. Don't include the list name and the URL. Select the addition on-premise or SharePoint online. Then select the authentication method, username and password, or third-party SSO, or integrated authentication. And the fields are available, enter the username and password, and uh, optionally enter SSO domain. Just optionally, you don't have to. Select sign in after you fill all the informations. On the data source page, do the following. First, this is just optional. You can skip it if you want to. Select the data source name at the top of the page and then enter a unique data source name for use in Tableau. For example, you can use a data source naming conversion convention that help other users of the data source figure out which data source to connect to. B, this is mandatory, those two options. Under table, select a table and drag it to the top of the canvas. Not mandatory, but if you want to do it. Of course, on the data source page, you can do the following as example. And select the sheet tab to start your analysis. For some connection tips in this article, if you use SharePoint Online, select third-party SSO as your authentication uh, type, of course. If you use Kerberos, select integrated authentication as your authentication type. If you use NTLM, select username and password as your authentication type. And if you select third-party SSO as your authentication type, enter your credentials, which might be your username e or email and your password optionally. Enter the SSO domain. And this is an example for Mac. You can go and follow, what? follow it up by your own. And yeah, so that's going to be basically it. So there you have it. You successfully connected SharePoint to Tableau in 2024. Now you can leverage the Tableau robust data visualization capabilities to gain insights from your uh, SharePoint data. So if you have a question or there is a specific topic that you'd like me to cover, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and happy data visualization and I will see you in the next video.